Good evening all. Um, day 67 post op. I uh, thought I'd just slip a quick one in. Uh, that today was the first day of the weighted Turkish get ups, both sides. Um, reasonably clean as well, um, both sides. Uh, right with the kettlebell on the right, it was a 12 kilo kettlebell by the way. Um, 12 kilo kettlebell in the right, the, the rear lunge was the uh, the only bit that, that wasn't, um, that, that wouldn't look good to a, an objective viewer. Um, and on the left, uh, really it was just, um, just, just the weight overhead, uh, so that was obviously in, in rising to stand, standing and, um, and descending, uh, the scapular stability really. Uh, the rest of it was uh, reasonably okay, though obviously with scapular ability, stability um, not particularly tight, that's going to shift your centre of gravity around and, and we'll make everything else loose as a result. But there you go, I thought it was, um, thought it was worthy of noting the, the day for that one, like uh, 67 days to do a, a weighted Turkish get-up. Um, Anything else I can add while I'm on here? Um, seeing the consultant tomorrow for the first time. Um, I am not, to be honest, I'm not expecting um, anything really. They know you're doing well, and and that's it. But you uh, you never know. Uh, you might have something useful to add. Um, and the me. Uh, my larynx, my, you know, vocal cords uh, are still giving me problems. Uh, I can go into real heavy coughing. I nearly passed out earlier this evening uh, with one which just completely hijacked me. Um, I seem to be oversensitive to anything on my larynx, but then my coughing is, isn't very productive. So if there is anything on there, I can't get rid of it. Um, so it's nowhere near as, as bad as the, the breathing and laryngospasm and diaphragmatic spasm I had for the first few weeks after the, the op uh, but it's real intense coughing and um, causes a little bit of distress and as I say they passed out uh, I think I did for a, for a second earlier, earlier this evening um, uh, I haven't I haven't ran or skipped for the past uh, four days I think it is now after me successfully running my mile and I think it's going to be really beneficial to me when I do take it up again it's just that uh, the calves had tightened so much um, you know there's pointless um, creating an injury to, to slow me progress uh, so I've been wearing heeled shoes a lot more um, trying to get the, the calves so they you know don't feel as if they've got a trigger point in there and then I'll be uh, straight back to running uh, I've got sports massage and osteopath booked for next week, which will be days 72 and 3. Alright, ta-ta for now.